Hello, welcome to this video 3-2 part B. In this video, we're going to um, talk about finding derivatives on a calculator and uh, graphing some derivatives. Um, just so you know, I'm representing my Green Bay Packers. Yeah, that's my team. And this is the, the throwback jersey, Brett Favre, number four. I don't know if you guys know who Brett Favre is. That's my favorite number, Brett Favre. You can see him. He's over here. Right, right there. Okay, uh, it's, it's sports day at school. So um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into uh, these examples here. So we're going to go ahead and uh, focus on the TI Inspire CX. If you have a CAS version, version um, please watch Mr. Maestas' video. I'll include it on my website. You can, you can watch that. Um, and his shows you kind of what you'll see on, on the CAS if you uh, have one of those. Okay, so... Um, Problem number one, it says, if f of x is equal to x cubed plus 3x, find f prime of 2. I want to go ahead and find this on a calculator. So here's what you're going to do. It makes our, our life very simple. I'm going to go ahead and open up a, a new calculator page. And what I'll do here is I'm going to click Menu, Calculus. And notice that it says numerical derivative at a point. So I click this and it says, okay, what variable do you want to calculate the derivative for? And we're going to say X and it says, okay. And then it says, uh, what value uh, for this problem? They wanted the derivative at two. So I want to know, okay, I want it at two. And then it says, do you want the first derivative or the second derivative? And we want the first derivative. And so we say, okay. And notice here it gives us this. It says d dx of, and I have a, a, a blank space here, right? and uh, they will say at x equals 2. So here's where we enter our function. And our function is x cubed plus 3 to the power of x. Okay. Um, now that I've entered that, I can click enter, and ta-da, there is our answer, 21.8875, 21.88. Eight would be uh, preferable, or 21.887 truncated um, would also earn you credit on the AP exam. Okay, so that's how you calculate the derivative. Um, we're going to go ahead also to, I want to show you um, on the next example. Okay, it says if g of x is equal to the natural log of x squared minus 3, find g prime of 2, g prime of 4, and sketch the graph. Of, of g prime. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a, a calculator, new calculator page, okay, and um, I'm going to go ahead and I, I want to calculate derivative. You can again use menu, calculus, derivative point. That's pretty quick and I, I honestly I would advise that uh, first. Um, but what I want to show you too is right next to the book in our, our functions available, we have the derivative icon here. Okay, so if I double click this, there is the derivative. Okay, so I want the derivative of x, d, dx, okay, and I'm going to enter uh, the, the function that I want. So natural log um, of x squared minus 3. And I'll close the parentheses. Okay, so there's my function. And... Um, Notice it doesn't have the bar. Like if I if I go back to to this example, I have that that bar right there. You're gonna have to tell it to evaluate a certain value. So you hit Control, I hit the um, the equal sign, and then notice there's that bar there. So evaluate at, um, and then I'm gonna enter x equals two. I don't know why I said why it said three two. Okay, and I hit enter, and boom, there's my answer, four. Okay. Um, the cool thing about these calculators is you can click the up and arrows, up arrows, and you can copy and paste or re-enter stuff. Okay, so if I hit enter after I've highlighted that, right, up, up. Okay, I hit enter, and it copies it down. And now, before I hit enter to evaluate it, I can just change my x value that I, I want to evaluate it at, and it's four. And I hit enter, and there it is, eight thirteenths. Okay, so I, I found those two values. Um, Something else that we can do is we can graph these derivatives. Okay, so I'm going to go to menu. Sorry, not menu. I'm going to go control, add a graph. Okay. 
and I'm gonna graph the derivative. So again, I'm gonna go to my functions. I'm gonna drop in the derivative. I don't know why that happened so quickly for me. Okay, so there we go. So the derivative, d, dx, and then I'm gonna enter my function. So the logarithm of x squared minus three, okay, and I hit enter, and there's our derivative. Okay, so you can graph derivatives on the TI Inspire, pretty sweet, right? Okay, so um, the last example that, that we have, if f of x is equal to the absolute value of x, find f prime of zero. Now, again, this is um, just as simple, right? If I go control calculator, and then I'm gonna take the derivative, so calculus, numerical derivative. I want the, the value at zero, and I'm gonna enter my function. So absolute value of x. I hit enter, and it says undefined. Undefined, why is it undefined? Well, one, because it's the answer, right? The calculator told you undefined. Um, think about the, the visual of the absolute value of x. What does the function look like? Well, at zero, what do we have? Sharp turn, right? Sharp turn. So at zero, this is the, the derivative is non-differentiable. Okay, so um, you're not gonna you're not gonna have a derivative there. Okay, undefined. Alrighty, um, that is it for this video on calculating derivatives with uh, TI Inspire CX. Again, if you have the CAS, I highly recommend watch Mr. Myas's video. He has the uh, the CAS kind of point of view. This is the CX. All right, I'll catch you next time.